All right, in this tutorial, we're going to quickly go through how to create the face behind text trick. This is a slightly different method than my earlier video on the they not like us uh, design. And you can use this for DTF transfers because the background is totally transparent. And I want to hear from you, which method do you like best? There's a there's like four or five different methods out there. Drop me a comment down below. Which method do you like this one better? Or do you want like the one that I had previously showed you? Or do you like another method? Let me know because you know what? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with a YouTube size thumbnail. This is um, 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. You don't have to choose this workspace. You can choose any workspace um, that you're going to be uh, using to place this design on uh, your product. So if you're printing uh, t-shirts, you're printing mugs, then you can use the or create the appropriate workspace that you need, right? So we're going to start off by going into elements. And I'm going to place this um, lion uh, on my workspace and I'll just place it right there. I'm now going to go into um, text and I'm going to place some text on my workspace. And I'm tired of seeing the <laughs> they not like us um, text phrase. So I'm just going to say in this um, design fate um, and I'm going to do this in all caps. So face behind text trick and you can replace this text with any text that you want to place on your specific design and I'm going to um, place each word on its separate line and I'm now going to go up to alignment and I'm going to align all the text to the left. Now, if that happens to you, just click outside and go back in and click the left alignment again to get it aligned the way you want it, right? Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into spacing, which is right here, and we're going to tighten up that letter spacing uh, or we're going to tighten up that line spacing. So I'm just going to bring that in like that, and that's what it's going to look like. So I'm now going to take this and I'm going to put it over my image. OK, and I'm going to place it right there. And then I'm just going to drag this circle on the end and make that larger like this. Now, before we continue, I just want to say that if you learn anything in this video whatsoever, press that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn Canva, you just don't understand Canva, you get frustrated with Canva. You don't know how to click into those boxes. Join my YouTube channel membership because I go live every week and um, it's an interactive session where you get to ask me questions and um, we have fun. We, we design and we have fun together. Um, anyhow, let's get back to the meats and potatoes of this design specifically. So uh, I've got this text box here and what I want to do is I want to choose a color for this um, text. So I'm going to choose red um, for this um, text here. And um, so this is only one of the text boxes that I need in order to finish this design. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another text box. And I'm going to try and just layer that right on top like that. And I'm now going to change the color of this uh, red text to white. And that's the text layer that's on top. So I'm going to change that to white. And I'm just going to try and line that up a little bit more. You can use your control key just for a little bit more uh, control. <laughs> that kind of rhymes, but anyhow. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to apply a hollow effect on the white text. So I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to select the hollow um, effect. And you have an option to choose the thickness. So choose whatever thickness um, you want. I'll choose that thickness 
um, there. So that's about 50, 51. And by the way, you can choose any color combination you want. You don't have to choose red and white. This is just a very easier way to achieve um, the effect of the they not like us uh, design. Uh, it is a different effect, um, slightly different. Um, so what we're going to do now is we are going to push this red uh, font behind the lion. So we're going to go into position and layers and we're going to grab this red text right here and we're going to move it in behind the lion. And when we do that, what happens is, is you've got that lion sandwiched in between that white hollow text and that red text. And um, that's pretty much the third method um, or, or fourth. Uh, I don't know. There's like so many different methods to achieve this effect. And if you want, you can also add some kind of a shadow and maybe some paint strokes uh, in behind that as well. You know, you can make this your own design and place whatever words you want to place in there whatsoever. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you learned something in this tutorial. If you did, press that like and subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about Canva, press that join button and join my club, my YouTube channel membership club. Okay, bye for now, friends.